Cicadas are one of the longest living insects, and for the last 17 years, they've been slowly digging their way through the soil, feeding on trees, building little underground habitats for themselves to live in. And in a couple of days, they're going to crawl out they're going to crack open their exoskeleton and the adult will emerge from that nymphal case. And they'll spread their wings, they'll dry out, harden up, and then begin to sing and mate and start the process of laying eggs all over again. The little Magisticated Cassini, this is the smallest of the three species in Brood 10. <laughs> Hello, buddy. That's his alarm call. He's not super happy with me. Just on this site alone, there's probably in the millions for sure. I mean, on this one tree, there's you know probably 10,000. So it's really just incredible. This is just a magical moment. And it's also a little heartbreaking to watch all the cicadas that don't quite emerge successfully, even though they've been waiting for 17 years. There's so many mysteries associated with cicadas since they come out so infrequently. There's so many questions yet to answer about how they live and what they're doing and how they interact with other organisms. So when these cicadas come out, there's going to be this huge pulse of food coming into the environment. Imagine just all you can eat shrimp buffets on every sidewalk. And so almost all of the birds and mammals will be eating as many cicadas as they can fit in their stomach. And we're curious about if all of these birds and other animals are changing their diets to eat cicadas, what's gonna happen to all the insects and plants that they were eating previously? And so we're using the cicada emergence to understand more about forest food webs. It's really magical to be able to get to start to untangle all those effects and what's actually going on and all the ways that they're impacting not just us, but everything around you. One of the most common questions we get asked is, will cicadas bite or sting? And I understand why people are nervous that there's going to be, you know, they're going to be everywhere. But cicadas are totally harmless. You can handle them, let them crawl on you, and they can't do any kind of damage besides tickling you with their feet. I was looking at our listserv this morning and somebody said, enough with the cicadas. We know they're here. We've seen your pictures. We've seen your videos. We have them too. Enough. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, they're here, but they haven't been here for a long time and they won't be here for a long time. And if you look, there's an awful lot to see. I hope that folks will take a little bit of time to just go out into the woods, especially at night when they're really first starting to emerge and watch them in that phase of transitioning from nymphs to adults because it's really magical.